please turn and face all ladders. Ugh. Okay. It smells like what? The ship. <laughs> what does that smell like? Oil? This could have been you. No. Oh. Why? Because this is a diesel sub. Oh. It's not a nuclear sub. Are there any nuke subs that are that we can go in and take a look at? It's Nautilus. Oh, then where's that located? It's the one he was talking about. In oh. Boston. Oh, in Boston. That's right. No, he was talking about the Constitution. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Oh, maybe I left. Okay. Give us a tour, honey. Oh. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I could have done this. Yeah, this would not have been me. This is the kind of sailor I don't want to be. What are you touching? The part of bills. Oh. This is the exact same thing we have. This hasn't changed. <laughs> yeah, this is your rigging. So. Teach us. So rig for sea, rig for dive. Rig for silent running, so this is all stuff you gotta do. Turn off all fans, turn off all emergency lights, stop the motor lighting generators, conduct ship's routine quietly. But like, you should have memorized this, right? Yeah, but you so still you're... go through and check the procedures off as you do them. Oh. I'm just saying that's there's a stuff, waste of time. There should be stuff in there too for like rigging for general quarters and rig for reduced uh, oh. electrical running and all that kind of stuff should be there. I see, I see. You can't be fat in this. You cannot be chubs in a submarine. Guaranteed. And I'm all kinds of chubs and it's really difficult to move around without bumping into stuff. So when was uh when was this last? Oh, I see. Okay. I don't think they had too many fat people back then, did they? What are those, honey? battery bus so this is these are your breakers for your for your uh, ship's electrical service system so this would be your electrical operator station or station I should say you probably got one guy operating both sides one guy only so how many people would be in this what what do you call this room I have no idea oh maneuver yeah this is maneuver and how many people would be in here I have no idea oh yeah Three, maybe. Probably have an officer, electrical operator. Get a lathe. Is that normal to have in this space? It's like a machinist lathe. Oh. Here's your engine order telegraph. Hmm. So how does that work? So this would come down from, well, shit, I don't know. You'd have it probably from the con. Uh -huh. You'd get a receipt saying, go this fast, and then you'd have to answer it, right? So the center arrow would probably be them saying, okay, go to two-thirds, and then you would acknowledge two-thirds. Okay. Yep, I, I received the order, and then you would... 
know. Execute whatever they execute want. Execute whatever yeah. it is. I don't know where the engine speed and all that stuff is. <clears throat> I'm guessing all ships smell the same then. Well, they use a lot of the same oil and hydraulic fluid. And that's what okay. Nuclear or diesel then. Yeah. So, motor generators. Oh, at least they have the AC on. I can appreciate this. I think there's AC. I don't know. Cool air, at least, I should say. Oh, there's a phone! That still works. Oh, it does? <laughs> I'm not going through there again. Glad I'm going to figure it out. Which means? Up that phone in there. Oh, I gotta pick up the phone. Okay, picking up the put my stuff down. This should be selected to a torpedo room, so pick it up. Press oh. the button and say something. Press the what button? The handset. On the, on the handset? What the hell? Oh, okay. Oh, it's working. Can you hear me now? No, I can't hear you. Can I hear you? Nope. I hear muffling. Really? Do I have to let go of the button? No. Oh, this is this is oper operator idiot. Hold on. Okay, go. Can you hear me now? No. Can you hear me? Nope. I can hear you. Really? Yeah, it's not working. Well, I hear that. I can hear you. I broke it. It's a sound powered phone, meaning you don't need to. Uh... It doesn't need battery power, it just needs a connected, a connected circuit. I see. <sighs> Nosy ass husband. Are we finding secrets in here? You think some sailors put something somewhere? <laughs> not sure. I think. Uh, there's not too many of them, like the little panels. The little alarm panels. Did they say... I how many were in this submarine? How many enlisted and probably about a hundred, maybe less. Oh my gosh. 80, 80, 85, something like that. Danger, high voltage. All right, let's move on forward. And how long were they underway? Are they usually? What's their uh, just, I, don't, I have no idea for diesel so no clue. Oh man. Trash? Procedures. Procedures. Here's all the workings and bus bars. Your ships. Yeah, this is all your your bus work for all your electrical systems right here. Yeah, you can't be fat in this. No way. All the Chubbs McDuck right now. I'm going through. Excuse me, sir. So on this diesel, what would you be doing? Uh, I don't know. If I was like an engineman or something like that, it'd be the closest thing to what I do. I see. This would just be. There's a hatch going down. Go down. Oh my god! You, so you probably have like an engine room, upper level engine room, lower level. So you might have like one, either one guy and run on both sides, or maybe one guy down below, one guy up here. Really? <clears throat> Only this is so this this room, this engine room is a one to two person operator. Probably. I feel this like is your ventilation. That's too that's I feel like this is too much for one thing. I'm just really dumb. I think I'm just really dumb. Yeah. 
Hey, at least they have a place to sit. Right here, sure, sure. <laughs> There's a pretty good chance that this stuff wasn't here. Oh, these seats weren't here? It's all standing watch. Yeah. I, I mean, it might have been, but probably wasn't for sitting. I mean, it could have been. I don't know. After engine room. Start the engines room. Wait, what do you do? Yeah, forward to start it. Bring it up to the end. I'm sure it's telling you the stuff we gotta do. You gotta do the circle, honey. Do the wheelie. No. Oh. bearing the bearing temperatures is your, is your air pressure so the air pressure start so they press they use high pressure air to push it into the pistons and then that's what gets them gets them running hmm. you don't have an electric motor start you have a air pressure start I see so here's another little hatch yeah, that was probably in the engine room all level. Gosh. What's up? So, not that I'm trying to be morbid, but if there was a hole in here, you can't seal this off. What do you mean? Like, because the hatch would be open, right? Or, I mean, do you get what I'm saying? Here's your, here's your watertight doors. Yeah, yeah, the door, yep. So this is one compartment. Oh. You just have an upper level or a lower level. Uh, okay. That makes sense. I get it now. Okay. So is this... Here's a Sharper, Sharples Lube Oil Purifier. What? Sharples Lube Oil Purifier. So you run your lube oil in here, and this thing spins at like 10,000 RPMs yeah. and filters out the water and contaminants from the oil. <clears throat> okay. So on watch, you would take this thing apart, clean it out, put it all back together again. Every watch? Then you would run it and run your, you'd run your lube oil through it to clean it out. Keep it clean. There's another one right there. So you got two of them. Probably one for each, each engine. Or each engine bank, I should say, because you've got multiples. Okay, well, here's, here's me going to step. So you've got forward engine room, aft engine room. So you've got... Oh, they took all the little things off. So, this would be forward engine room. Okay. Here. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna sit. Lay that butt down. What's he doing? The growler, the telephone. Yeah. So, engine room. So, how hot does it get in here? You think hotter down, hotter than what you call it? No, no. Hundred degrees or more. <gasps> no. Lube oil, twenty one ninety TGP probably. That's also what you smell. Oh. Okay. Susan. This one's probably called Susie. We named them? Yeah. This one, I don't see the name on there, but my guess is they probably named all four of them. The engines. Yeah. Got it. Just so it each. Track of them. Right. These big air compressors. Oh, here's little, another hatch. Little air compressors. How do you not fall? You just know, huh? Especially when you're. I'll be back. 
I guess don't be fat, don't be clumsy is basically. Oh my god, I'm so good. Warning. What? How does it go? <laughs> and then and then you've got people pooping in here. Or no, no, these are the showers. Yeah, these are the showers. <laughs> you probably got people pooping in here. Yeah, these are the bathrooms. It's kind of like an RV. Yeah, you can see. Look through the little hole, you can see the toilets. So you're you're brushing your teeth there. Yeah. And somebody's pooping right there. Uh, okay, like an RV. Three, six, nine. So all your stuff would have to fit in here, huh? Mm -hmm. But you still have a sea bag. Or no, you're limited to just this space. You're so you're just limited to this space. So your sea bag is a backpack it's in here there I, I doubt there's that much more room on board or anything else i mean this is more room than you got on the fucking sail ship mm, that's true but yeah you'd have your books you'd have your, your toiletries most likely you'd keep like your your working uniforms separate from your dress uniforms so that the way they didn't get fucking messed up and then yeah your shower shoes Towel if you had it. Here's your sea bag folded up right there. This is a submariner sea bag. Mm -hmm. Same thing. It's oh. all the same. Oh. I didn't know your sea bag folds that small. Breaking stuff. Couple of these, a couple of these didn't even have this, so this would have been for maybe more senior personnel. Oh, or you'd have to share because a lot of these there's no storage, which means you might oh. have shared a locker, you would have shared maybe this space. Yeah, well, there's a medicine thing there. So this is medicine stuff, this might have been uniforms for people. This two-person rack here might have been for your more senior. I see. I think that would have been maybe your chief, chief's quarters or something. Oh man, you become really close to these people, don't you? Holy cow! Yes. Okay. So, are you sharing the bunks then? Yeah, you would have been most likely hot racking. So, oh. you're on watch. Some dude sleeping some in the else, same. Yeah, some other dude sleeping in your rack, and then oh, when you get man. off, they call it hot racking because it's still hot because the guy that just relieved you just it's got still... out of your rack. Oh. That doesn't sound hygienic <laughs> at all. This could have been you. About 50 years prior. <laughs> well, it could have been you on the nuke sub. That would have been significantly larger. Oh, really? So you have a <clears throat> you have a jukebox. How cute! Anchors away, yellow submarine. Ballad of the Thresher. Kiss me, sailor boy. I'm sure that one. I'm sure. I'm sure that was a single one. <laughs> So this is, you think this, maybe this is a refrigerator right here? And then you, there's also this ladder. Oh, yeah, it would have been a reefer. Maybe? No. No, that's not it. This oh. is something else. To go up the hatch. That's a hatch? Yeah. 
another hatch, but to the top top. So this is also where you would have done probably training and any presentations that need to be made. So you'd pull oh. this down and there's probably a projector the mess. Or, or you would have sheets up and give your training. I see. cameras in here we are gonna get a toll too so Got one chef, probably right. Mm, yeah. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Here's your radio room. Sending and receiving messages. What are, what are these? This is more bus work. So this is all electrical stuff. Oh, I'm like batteries? There's another hatch. Do you think there's more birthing downstairs? No. Or down, oh, downstairs. <laughs> oh my God. earlier in the mess. Did you? Yeah, I heard it. Ding. It would have been a... Well, no, I didn't hear that. That's forward engine room. Rig for dive, dear. Rig for die. What does that mean? It means you'd open up that little book and start following your instructions. Oh, well. So this must be your... Okay, so this is your... Saltwater depth control. to kill. To kill? To kill. So this would be... Wait, what? These are the guys that steer the ship, essentially. Up, down, sideways, whatever. Mm -hmm. So this would be your control, yeah, control room. Oh, that's the magnificent That's all right. I was, I know everything about submarines. <laughs> I know the history of two seconds of everything. Yeah. <laughs> Were you a submariner? I was 15 years in the army. Oh. I respect army. <laughs> So this is where this is where the captain and everybody would be. Where the officer of the deck. Control room. Mm -hmm. You would make the announcements, ship's announcements from here. Hmm. And then they would control the ship, whether it's sideways. Sideways. Mm -hmm. Where's the uh, Where's the periscope? There's a little... Right there, that one. Yeah. Where are the periscopes? Oh, up there. Okay, I see it. So there's the upper level. I just have it closed off. Conning tower. So yeah, you get your conning tower. And then... So this is... Three levels? What do you call the levels? Decks. 
decks. Why can't I get that right? It's a three deck submarine. Sub wait, submarine. Here's your chief petty options, Brady. Okay. Yeah, these are broke. Yeoman's office. That's how you say that, right? Yeoman? Yeoman yeah. Well, here's your chief's quarters. So you got five, five little bunks in one room. But they have their own sink and everything. And then your officers. Your officer stateroom. We got three. And then this would be yeah, captain's the stateroom. Captain's stateroom. So he's got his own sink and his own. He's got a fan. Oh, luxuries. luxuries. This is your wardroom. Junior officer stateroom. So you'll have four junior officers in there. So what's a junior officer? Ensign. Oh, ensign. Okay. Officer stateroom. You know, I still haven't got any photos. I don't think I'm going to go back to your photos. <laughs> Ward room. So they would have four junior officers. There's ward room. Watch your step, okay. I broke it. Just kidding. Oh, the Torsk got its name by a fish? No. Oh. A Norwegian rash. translation for the Cusk, a food fish belonging to the cod family. Hmm. Two, three, four torpedoes. There should be four more on this side. Well, they're using it for yeah. information. Yeah, there should be. Yeah. More over. torpedoes. Because you've got six tubes. One, two, three, four, five, six tubes. So, oh, you'd have more down there. There'll be a couple more torpedoes down that way. Hmm. So you'd have one, two, three, four. So, how many torpedoes do modern submarines usually carry? <laughs> This one had another eight aft, at least. And then you've got... There were torpedoes there? Yeah. Let someone sleep here, honey. Look. There's a bunk. Yeah. This is where you're... Oh, so what, you mean you're ready your to fight? Your torpedo yeah. would sleep back here. Whoa. You put bunks anywhere you can. More, more bunks. Yeah, I mean, look. We've got a guy sleeping right there. Holy cow. Probably hop in his rack right here. <laughs> Amazing. When you come down the stairs, you can wake him up. <laughs> All right. Cool. Let's go, honey bunny. Okay, you go. I watch you. Creepsies. Not creepsies. Okay. That's it. 